Hi, uh, my name is Daria Palomarchuk. Uh, I am from Ukraine, uh, Kiev, uh, from uh, Varvar Brewery, and uh, we're a craft brewery based in Kiev. Uh, we are started uh, brewing in 2015, uh, just after uh, the Russian aggression started in uh, Donetsk. It's partially family business and we moved from Donetsk uh, to Kiev and started a small, with a really small brewery. First it was like a 500 liters uh, brewery and uh, then we expanded one, uh, it's like it's, uh, two tons. So now it's pretty big. Well, now the times are tricky and uh, now it's about uh, 50 tons a year. Well, we produce um, all the varieties. Um, normally it's uh, 14 types of uh, our general um, line uh, plus uh, barrel aged um, line uh, plus uh, two or three types of uh, seasonal uh, types. And where do you distribute them to? I mean, are you able to distribute them in the Ukraine or outside of Ukraine? We're distributing the beer around Ukraine and uh, now it's a bit hard, but uh, we're trying to distribute outside Ukraine to Europe uh, and uh, to UK. And uh, I noticed that you've also did a collab with uh, the Brussels Beer Project. We're here at Wonderlust, which is uh, one you know the brewery that holds Wonderlust here at the Place Saint Catherine's in Brussels. How did that come about? Well, you know that the craft brewing community is uh, pretty much um, it seems big, but uh, it is small in general. So everybody knows everybody, and uh, we have friends, and we have uh, like connections to different like uh, breweries, and uh, our friends uh, met and said like, these guys seems like nice. You should meet together and brew. The brewery started during you know the Russian invasion. Uh, why would you continue during an invasion in brewing and what does it mean for your country? Because uh, when the hard time comes, you have to do what you can do. Because uh, the economy has to go on uh, and um, you have to pay taxes and you have to give workplaces to people. And, uh, you know, we try to um, help our country as much as we can. And, you know, uh, uh, this is a small thing that we are, you know, you have to keep yourself uh, motivated and uh, busy. So it helps us, it helps people. So let's see. And what kind of have you been affected by the war and in what ways? Oh, the whole country is affected because uh, the bombs are falling down to every city. Uh, the lights uh, are um, turning off. So in terms of uh, your brewery though and its survival, has it armed your production? I mean, at certain points you need electricity, at certain points... Of course, uh, yeah. you need more than two hours the, to brew like uh, a stout. And if uh, the electricity is off, uh, you have to, to stop uh, the process and uh, to wait uh, or to schedule your brew brews um, in a certain way or uh, to make your Brewers come at night, you know, to They're finish to adjust, yeah. the stuff. Yeah. You are the daughter of the founder, and his name yeah. is Vassil. Vassil. Vassil Mikulin is uh, my father. Yes. Right. And um, let's say now um, 
we cannot we cannot build many plants unfortunately and uh, let's say we want to like um, we hope for the victory and for the war to end to build our plants very good thank you for talking to the beer idiots thank you and good to see you here in brussels we're happy to be here